Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about how you can set up Google Auth in our local Superbase project. I have a video about the exact same thing, but that Superbase project was hosted on Superbase Cloud. Now the process is going to be almost similar, but there are some tweaks that you need to do. I was facing some issues with this and I couldn't find good documentation or videos on YouTube. So I'm making this video so that you don't face those issues as well. By the way, I have already written a blog about this. You can use it for future reference. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I have a Next.js project. I have also added some code. I will explain them later in this video. But first, we need a Superbase project, a local Superbase project. For that, you need Docker setup and also the Superbase CLI installed. If you need help with these, I have videos about them. The link will be on the description. So go to the project root and run superbase in it. I don't need any VS code settings. And it has actually created a config.toml file. And now we need to run the superbase project. So superbase start. It might take some time if you are trying to run it for the first time. It will download the images and containers. So you get this project information. If you need to access them again, you can just run superbase status. And now we can store the API URL and unknown key in the environment variable. So go to the env.local file and I'm going to paste the values. Now we need to set up a Google Cloud project. So you can use your existing project, but I will create a new one. I'm going to call it local Google OAuth. And let's create. Now select project, then go to this navigation menu. API and services, API and services, and then go to OAuth consent screen. Get started. And then user support email. Audience will be external. I'm going to put my email. Now we need to create an OAuth client. So let's click this button. Application type will be web. And I'm going to use the same name. You can skip the JavaScript origin. And then authorized redirect URLs. This is important. Add URI. It will be your super paste API URL slash auth slash callback. So just get the API URL, then slash auth slash v1 slash callback, then add another URI. This time, just uh, remove this IP and just use the word localhost. And it should be OK. Let's create. Uh, this has generated us a client ID, but we will get them later. Then go to data access. Add or remove scopes. Choose the first three. User info dot email, user info dot profile, and open ID. Update. And then save. And that should be it. I don't think I need to change anything else. Yep, so everything is looking good. Now let's go to the clients. 
and uh, go to this uh, client that we have created. We need this client ID and client secret. Don't share the client secret. I'm gonna delete the project. So just copy this client ID and create a new file inside the root of your project called .env and create variables, client ID and secret key. The name can be anything you want. It doesn't matter. And then copy the secret. Now we need to change a few things on the config file, the Superbase config file. So go to the config.toma file. Now search for the word Google. And you'll see this uh, section auth.external.apple. So this is basically a piece of code that you need to copy. So this is basically an example code for OAuth. We don't want Apple, we want Google. Enable will be true. The client ID will be the variable over here. So inside the string, you need to call the env function and then paste the variable name. And same for the secret. And then in the redirect URI, I'm going to put this localhost 54321 slash out slash b1 slash callback and skip nonce check will be true. Now, before we try this out, uh, let's go to the page.js file. Let's explain the code a bit. So I have this form, which has this handle Google sign in server action. A server action is basically a function that runs on a server instead of the client. So we are basically creating a super base client. And then this will be our base URL. If the base URL is not set in the environment variable, it will be localhost 3000. Then we are calling this sign in with OAuth function, passing the provider Google and the redirect to property will be the base URL slash all slash callback. If there isn't any error, we're going to redirect to the data.url. Also make sure you have created the API route inside auth, then callback, and then route.js. This is actually copied from the super based documentation. I'm not explaining this on in depth. Please check out my other video for more detailed explanation. And then in the page, we are fetching the user, current user. And if the user exists, we're going to display their name. So that should be it. We can now run the dev server, the Next.js dev server with npm run dev. Let's uh, sign in with Google. Uh, we have an error, validation failed, unsupported provider. Uh, sorry, I forgot to restart the Superbase project. Every time you change the configuration, you need to restart the Superbase project. You can do that by running Superbase stop and then Superbase start. Okay, now let's go back to the page and let's try again. And now it is asking us to choose an account. And let's continue. Uh, something is wrong. So it has taken us this URL, local, basically localhost, then code with a code query parameter. Uh, something is wrong. Um, in the config, let's just go to the auth section and let's just change the site URL. And let's restart the Superbase project. And now let's try again. Sign in with Google. Select this account. Okay, so now it's working. It says welcome and then my name. And then if you go to the project dashboard, then authentication. 
And here you can see we have one user and the provider is Google. So let's just recap what you need to do in the config file. So go to the auth section and here change the site URL to localhost 3000. Just uh, search for word Google and you will see this OAuth section. Just duplicate the example code and change the name to Google and make sure it is enabled. Then add the client ID and client secret. The redirect URI, localhost 54321, auth slash v1 slash callback. And a skip nonce check is true. And you should be good to go. So that should be it. If the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please check out my other video on Google OAuth or any authentication video if you need help with Supervisor authentication. If you have any question or if you need help, please do let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer them. So that's it. Stay safe. Goodbye.